Okay, so while we're on the settings page, I'm going to give you a brief overview about what is here. Well, first we have the welcome tab, which um, is pretty generic, but the great thing about this tab is it gives us the option to join the community of other Beaver Builders. We have a Facebook group and there is a Slack group. And of course, you can come and say hello on the Twitter page. There is also an option for you to activate and deactivate modules. I'm gonna talk more about what modules are a bit later, but this can come in really handy. The next one we want to talk about is post types. So currently Beaver Builder only works on pages, but we can get it to work as well on your blog posts. More on that a little bit later. Next, we're going to talk about templates. Again, I'm going to do a whole video around templates and user access um, is really cool because it allows us to stop people from messing around with the work that we've already done. Um, icons as well I'm not going to show you in this tutorial how to upload icons um, but uh, again it's an option you can do that here if you need to and of course the tool section which allows us to clear the cache or completely uninstall beaver builder if we need to and that is it for this part of the tutorial let's move over to the next